Dressed in black, hundreds gathered in a vigil dubbed Dark Valentine in Kenya's capital on Wednesday to protest the rise in femicides in the country. On a day traditional for celebrating love, students instead commemorated the victims of femicide by lighting candles, chanting names of those killed and holding red roses. The protest became the largest anti-femicide demonstration in the country. We do not condone um, femicide at all. Um, we are losing so many women, so many girls. So today, most of us have set out our plans so that we come here with fellow women, our fellow ladies, fellow feminist leaders to ensure that we end femicide. We hold the government accountable because we need the reduction of femicide cases because they are our sisters, they are our mothers, they are our wives. I'm joining in this dark Valentine's because there's nothing to be happy about when our fellow women and girls are being murdered in cold blood and nothing has been done about it. So on this day, I, I prefer rather to protest against the injustices that are occurring and raise my voice, join my fellow women because today is them, tomorrow could be me. It's affecting our mothers, our sisters, our friends and you know we need to speak up about it and and uh, love is not something that should put you at risk for death. So if we can't have a healthy kind of love, what is there to celebrate about? We must fight for our protection. Similar protests took place in cities and towns at the end of January. Cases of femicide in Kenya are on the rise with more than 16 cases reported by police and local media since the start of the year.